Ilya Tapuria just silenced all doubters by defeating Alexander Volkanovsky and claiming the UFC featherweight championship, pushing his perfect record to 15 wins with zero losses. Yet there's so much more to him than just his devastating knockouts and slick submissions. Did you know that once he completely trashed a guy in a bar brawl? Or what about his bizarre weight cutting techniques that put any nutritionist to shame? Or the fact that he's been blessed by the bodybuilding god Arnold Schwarzenegger himself? Join me as we explore 10 mind-blowing facts about Ilya Tapuria that show there's a lot more to this champion than meets the eye. Number 10. Tapuria has a confusing background. No offense to El Matador, but he's actually been trolled for this before. However, as far as we know, Tapuria is a German by birth, Georgian by heritage, and based on where he's living his best life nowadays, you could even call him Spanish. He remained in Germany till the age of 7, after which he got in touch with his true roots and moved back to Georgia. Eight years later, Ilya's family was on the move again, and they settled in Alicante, Spain, where he truly mastered the sport of fighting. Number 9. Tapuria's been in the game since he was 4 years old. I'm sure this doesn't come off as a surprise, considering El Matador's astonishing skills, but I do have to give credit to his dad. Ilya's love for fighting started at just the age of 4, when his dad introduced him to judo. Of course, a 4-year-old can't be going around knocking out toddlers, so El Matador had to wait a while till he could actually test the waters. When his family moved back to Georgia, Tapuria began practicing Greco-Roman wrestling at the age of 7. After perfecting the fighting style for 8 years, he switched things up and got into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and MMA when he settled in Alicante. In fact, that's when things started to get real for El Matador because he was so passionate about BJJ that he ended up becoming the first Georgian black belt in the sport. Number 8. He's a former Arnold Classic champion. Yep, I'm talking about the same Arnold that all of you know. Sure, he might not have been a fighter, but to fight in front of the legend is an honor in itself, especially for a 17-year-old Georgian kid. Schwarzenegger himself organized the Arnold MMA tournament in Madrid back in 2013, and he was lucky to see greatness being born. The finalists were ironically brothers. That's right, Ilya was up against his very own flesh and blood, Alex Tapuria. But they decided to not fight each other out of respect, and both brothers were crowned co-champions of the tournament. But I believe, and I'm sure, Tapuria would agree that an even bigger honor was to shake hands and exchange a few words of confidence with a world bodybuilding ch Number 6. He's fluent in many languages. Not surprisingly, considering he spent the better part of his life bouncing around from place to place, El Matador's real quality is embracing and accepting the culture wherever he goes. That's why Ilya's learned and mastered the language of every single place he's lived in. This includes German, Georgian, Spanish, and English. And based on his love for traveling, I wouldn't be surprised to see the list hit double digits. Number 5. He got into a bar brawl with a stranger back in early 2023. Ilya was enjoying his time off from beating guys' face in. Of course, his go-to place is his own home in Spain, and the Georgian was just chilling at a bar with Omar Montes, a singer. The recording showed Tapuria playing a retro arcade game when out of nowhere, an angry man confronted him. I have to believe the guy wasn't in his senses, because no sane man would have pushed a KO artist without any reason. You know by now, that's exactly what he did. Surprisingly, Tapuria ignored it until he got pushed a second time. Safe to say, the stranger got personal kisses from El Matador's fist until the spectators pulled him off the poor man, only for him to break free and pursue the man. Believe me when I tell you, it was a real movie scene, with tables and bodies flying everywhere. But the important thing is, the man is alive and well, so you can stop holding your breath. Number 4. He's in a relationship. From the looks of it, El Matador is checking off item after item on his bucket list. The man couldn't have asked for a better partner than Georgina Uzkategi Badel. Georgina is a huge fitness and health enthusiast, and also an entrepreneur. The businesswoman is the proud founder of the company Future and Energy. But if there's something she takes more pride in, it's her amazing boyfriend. 
Bedell's Insta is filled with pictures of herself and El Matador with captions so full of affection and admiration that they'd put Cupid to shame. Ilya also returns the favor by flaunting his one-of-a-kind partner on his social media. He also posted images with a young boy whom he calls his little prince. Though it's not sure if he's Tapuria's son or even if Georgina's his mother. Number 3. He's been with Clement Club for more than a decade. When it comes to loyalty, Tapuria is the best example for anyone. He was first introduced to the club when he moved to Alicante. And I'm not lying when I say Javi and Agustin Clement made him the man he is today. In fact, both Tapuria and his brother, Alex, earned their black belts under the Clement brothers. From his amateur Arnold Classic win to his professional debut at the local MMA circuit, Clement Club stuck by El Matador's side. And that's the only reason that, despite having tons of world-class gyms in the US, he's remained loyal to the club for over 12 years now. Number 2. Tapuria uses wine to cut weight. You heard that right. It's unconventional, I know, but let's be honest. Nothing about El Matador is conventional. Ilya claims the wine helps him dehydrate. Ilya Tapuria in the flesh, cutting weight and drinking vino. How we doing? We're doing great, man. It was the easiest weight, weight cut I ever had, so happy. And it's actually true. The body produces huge amounts of urine to get rid of the alcohol. So indulging right before weigh-ins is actually a genius way of dehydrating, which helps fighters cut the last few pounds off. Now, I'm not saying it's fair, but hey, if it gets the things done for the man, I'm not gonna complain. Everyone knows he needs it, considering he's already tall for the division. So if El Matador wants to keep pounding featherweight, he better build a cellar. Number 1. He got into a street fight with Patty Pimblet. Based on the last story, you'd think Patty started this fight. And well, you'd be kind of right. You see, Patty the Batty likes to say whatever comes to mind. And that includes making jokes about the 2008 war between Russia and Georgia. So it didn't happen because he told me something yesterday. It comes from a long time ago, post like, uh, now I understand why Russia destroyed Georgia because you are dumps. And it makes my, my blood boil because in 2008, I was living in, in, in Georgia when, when the war happened, you know? And it was a very difficult time for me, for my family. For Unfortunately for him, El Matador lived through the war and lost close friends and family members to it. So you can guess he wasn't too thrilled with Patty's sense of humor. As luck would have it, the two were in London in the same hotel for different flights. And Tapuria lost it just at the sight of Batty. He threw a bottle and Pimblet barely missing his skull and followed it up with a punch. Fortunately, the fight ended with fists only and no real damage was done. Which of these facts surprised you the most? Go ahead and tell us your valuable opinion in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn the notifications on so you won't miss any of our videos. And that's it for today. Until then, remember to protect yourself at all times.